On this episode of Enclosure Talk, we have a phenomenal monolith 24 by 24 by 36 arboreal snake setup. So this is a black build. You've got the black hardware. It's got the chrome red Focus Cube logo, black knob on that CNC contoured quarter inch polycarbonate door. Uh, you can see it does have a keyed lock. I have the door open just so you don't have to uh, see my reflection standing here talking to you guys. Uh, but yeah, this is a, as you would call it, a souped up build. <laughs> um, so jumping inside, you can see that the monolith does have a large substrate area, so it can accommodate uh, naturalistic or bioactive, uh, which a lot of gecko people want. Um, you can also use sterile, which is more common in the green trees and the arboreal snake setups. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's ready for whatever uh, substrate type you would like. Um, the first thing that you really notice after looking at that chrome red logo is the red perches looking super cool. Uh, mated with some uh, tinted tees. So those perch mounts are super cool. Really pretty fancy. Got the uh, stainless hardware there. Also you'll notice that the perches are um, associated, associated, kind of aligned with the window here. So you get a really cool viewing experience uh, from the outside uh, while still having functional perching setup. So this is the uh, 15 or 12, 15, 20 combo. So we have, I have the 12 millimeter up here, the 15 uh, in the middle, and then the 20 on the bottom, more mimicking how tree branches would be or bush branches would be in the wild. So the higher up you go, the smaller, smaller. <laughs> ah, the joys of working in a shop. So you've got that, you've got the windows, you've got the tinted perch mounts with stainless hardware, you look up and you've got all kinds of goodies going on. So you have the radiant heat panel uh, situated in the back for the basking area and monitoring or maintaining a more ambient heat. You've got your UVB uh, situated next to the heat in the front so it kind of casts onto the perches where the animal can go to the back perch, not really have it uh, or any light back there, just heat, or come more forward and have the UVB. Also have the Jungle Dawn. Uh, the Jungle Dawns are very powerful LEDs, uh, nice for print, plot, print, wow, plant propagation. There we go. And we've got the dimmable LED tucked up in the front, which is nice. Uh, I always say this, even though you have the UVB and the Jungle Dawn here, you may not want to run those all the time. Or if you're just working in the closure at night, um, it's nice to use the dimmable LED to kind of, or just be able to see or create light cycles if you are not running your UVB and your Jungle Dawn all day. So we personally, with our UVB, it depends on the species, like for the Bearded Dragons, obviously we run the UVB all day, but with the uh, more crepuscular green trees, croc skinks, um, different, uh, our boa constrictor and our carpet, we run the UVB uh, only certain hours of the day. Same as with my crested geckos, the crested geckos are just in the mornings and evenings. So. Having the dimmable LED is nice just to be able to see what you're doing and add a full daylight cycle if you so choose. So really cool setup, uh, just a phenomenal build, really packed in there. Uh, Steven had to do some very uh, uh, clever machining to fit it all, but it looks nice and uh, should be a really cool build. So once again, this is the Monolith 24 by 24 by 36.